This is my favorite pie. The contrast of all the flavors is just fantastic. They just come together in complete harmony. It's just unbelievable. Hi everybody, you welcome to my kitchen. It's me, Manny from Manny's Men at Home. Today I want to bring you a Peruvian dessert. It is so delicious. It takes a little bit of work and there's a lot of parts to it, but don't worry, we'll do everything together. We're gonna to be making un pie de limón. Let's look at the ingredients that we're going to need. First, we're gonna make our pastry. So I've got some flour here going into a big bowl and I'm going to go in with some butter. Here you want to make sure that you're using cold butter, mine is cubed so it's easier to mix with the flour and also you want to make sure you're using salted butter so of course I'm using Irish butter. I've got some sugar going in here as well and I need the yolk of an egg. Just to bring a bit of the citrus aroma into my dough, I'm also gonna put in the zest of a lemon. And if you wanted something that's slightly different, you could also use some orange zest. Right, I'm gonna go in with my hands and mix everything together. Try to pinch the butter in between your fingers. This is kind of like a short crust pastry, which is pretty universal. I use it to make my Halloween pie, and also you use it to make scones. So if you want to check out those recipes, I will leave them linked in the description below, or click up there. This is the consistency that you want. It's all well mixed in and it kind of looks like breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna dump this onto my counter now and bring it together into a solid ball of dough. And you don't want to overwork this dough because otherwise it becomes quite tough. And quickly before all my butter melts, I'm gonna wrap it in cling film and put it to rest in the fridge. While my pie dough is chilling, I'm gonna go and start making my filling. We've got what seems to be Peru's favorite ingredient, condensed milk going in here, of course. This stuff is like liquid gold, I love it. I always wonder why things like condensed milk and evaporated milk are so prevalent in Peruvian cuisine, especially when it comes to desserts and sauces. Do you know? Let me know in the comments if you have an idea why. So then I'm gonna go in with some egg yolks. And of course, we need some freshly squeezed lemon juice. I am using actual lemons today, but it's funny that in Peru, lemons are actually limes. That's what, what grows naturally there, so typically it will be made with lime juice. I'm gonna give all of this a bit of a mix. Just before I forget, I'm gonna go in with my vanilla extract. Okay, that's all nicely mixed. I'm gonna put this in the fridge as well, and I'm gonna line the pastry into my pie dish. Right, I'm gonna flour my surface really well, and I'm gonna put out my pastry. I'm also gonna flour the top and my rolling pin. I'm just gonna roll. It's a little bit soft, I probably should have left it in the fridge a little bit longer, but you can easily press this into your tin as well, so just wanna kinda get it somewhat even at least at the bottom. Working with pastry can be tricky, so it takes practice. Right, I'm gonna use my trusty cookie sheet to lift this off the counter, because it is also roasting today, so that really doesn't help with the pastry. There's so much butter in there that it just melts. It's apparently 28 degrees today. Doesn't happen very often in Ireland. This pastry is quite forgiving anyway, just like any short crust, so just patch it in. And you don't really have to worry about prepping your pan or anything like that. There is so much fat, so much butter in the pastry itself that when it cooks, it's gonna melt out. And you can see that it looks a bit shaggy also. It doesn't matter. We're gonna put the filling on top of this so nobody's gonna see. Do try to get it to come up all the way to the side stuff, because that way we will see. Here we are. What I am going to do right now is put this into the freezer for about 10 minutes before and go and blind bake it. It's pretty much melting on me as it sits here, so we need it to cool down a little bit. Pie crust is nice and cool now, it's much harder. This is, would have been easy to work with this earlier, but anyway, here we are. I'm just gonna prick the bottom of the pie crust so that when it's baking, it doesn't all puff up. And as one more measure that I'm going to take so that my pie doesn't write too much, I've got some baking beans over here. So I've got some parchment paper, which I'm just gonna put on the top, and I'm gonna go in with my baking beans. These will essentially weigh down the bottom of our pie so it won't be able to actually rise. Okay, now we're ready to blind bake this in the oven at 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Right, let's go check on our pie crust. I'm gonna try to take off the baking beans. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the filling. I may have a little bit too much, but let's see how we get on. I think that was the perfect amount, actually. I'm gonna try to spread it out a little bit as well so it's even. Okay, and back to the oven, same temperature for 10 to 12 minutes. It's ready, let's have a look. It looks like it's nicely set. That is perfect. Now it's a good time to start working on our meringue. I've got everything set up here. So I just have a clean bowl and I've got a little bit of lemon juice here. Just gonna spread that around the bowl. This helps to get rid of any oil that might be in the bowl, which is just being clean anyway, so it should be 
oil free and it will help to stabilize the meringue a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with some egg whites. These are room temperature. And I'm gonna start to whisk them and then when they come to kind of like medium peaks, I'm gonna start adding in sugar about a teaspoon at a time. Our meringue is done, so I'm just gonna go and put it on top of our pie, which is cooled down a little bit now. Just spreading out the meringue to cover the entirety of my pie. You can try with your spoon to kind of make some peaks of it. It's a little bit softer than I would like, so I'm not sure if they're gonna stay, but you want some kind of nooks and crannies that are gonna get nice and crispy and give you a bit of contrast in the different colors uh, once it's done baking. Okay, and this is gonna go into the oven, which is put up to 200 degrees, and it's gonna bake for just a couple of minutes. We just want the egg whites to cook a little bit and to get some crispy bits and brown bits on the top. That looks fantastic. We need to let it cool for a little bit and then we can unmold it. There's a slight possibility that it might crumble a bit when we do it. I have a love hate relationship with this kind of fluted pie dishes because of this. It looks pretty, but it makes it really awkward to unmold. But let's give it a go. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> let me put it onto my serving board now. I'm gonna wait another couple of minutes and then we cut a slice and finally give it a try. I'm very, very excited. And that's it, it looks fantastic. Let me give it a try. Amazing. Oh wow. The tanginess and sourness of that lemon beautifully contrasts with the sweetness of the meringue. It is just mind-blowingly good. You have to give it a try. Do give it a try with lime. The flavor profile changes a little bit, but it's still absolutely fantastic. It is a little bit technical, and a lot of places where things could go wrong, but if you follow the steps that I gave you, you'll have no problems at all. If you enjoyed the recipe, make sure you give me a big like and let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Be sure to share with all of your friends, and if you try it and post it on Instagram, tag me. I really wanna see how you get on. If you enjoy my Peruvian recipes, please check out my playlist. I will link it over here. With that, I'll leave you for this video and enjoy.